This won't take long. <laughs> Great work, Captain. You're not doing so bad there yourself, Asbel. Stay sharp, even against Chuck. It will take more than that to stand in our way. Stay sharp, even against Chuck. Not yet. That was hardly worth dirtying my blade. Won't take long. Draw! Okay. Hmm? Did we get carried away? Stay sharp, even against chumps. We won't fail. This won't take long. Flames are passing through. Press the flame. Farewell. We won't fail. Stay sharp, even against the cup. Right. Not yet. Great job. Ha. That was hardly worth dirtying my blade. Stay sharp, even against the cup. Hmm? Did we get carried away? It won't take long. Rest yeah. Yeah. You won't live. Hmm? Did we get carried away? I think the mission went well. But how are you feeling? I feel great, sir. In fact, I'd like to take the lead until we return to the Academy. It's good to see such motivation. But before you can lead, you'll need this map. Thank you, Captain Malik. The road leads straight there, so I doubt you'll get lost, but it's good to have just in case. Now be aware of yourself, and don't let your guard down until we reach Verona. The monsters on this road have been fierce lately. Yes, sir! This won't take long! Flames are burning! Okay! Great job! Now! Not yet! Hmm? Did we get carried away? This 
won't take long. Draw, fall, moan down, die! We won't fail! This area hasn't changed much either. If you don't mind me asking, Captain, who were those knights back in Orlin? Former students. I can tell they really trust and admire you. Forgive me for asking, sir, but why did you become an instructor? Surely you'd see more action if you served in the field. The other knights were more capable. But Captain, you're an exceptional knight. I can't imagine anyone being better than you. Flattery will get you everywhere, Asbel. But let's just say the others have a certain something I don't. Hmm. I wonder if I have that certain something to become a knight. <laughs> Stay sharp. Even against the knights. It will take more than that to stand in our way. Let's rest here for a bit. Yes, sir. Seeing country like this makes you realize just how blessed Windor truly is. Remind me, Asbel, when did you enter the Knight Academy? It's been almost seven years now, sir. <laughs> it all passes so quickly. It's been my honor to learn from you during this time, Captain. You're the son of a lord, yes? Will you ever return home and reclaim the family name? Well... I ask because I'm ready to recommend you as a full-fledged knight. Uh, really? In truth, my word is a mere formality. If the life of a knight is your wish, your acceptance is almost certain. You're young yet and still lack experience, but this mission has convinced me that you're ready enough to take the next step. Thank you, sir. But this is not a decision to be made in haste, Asbel. Perhaps you should consult with your parents first. That won't be necessary, Captain. I am prepared to devote my life to the Knights. Very well, if that is your wish. It is, sir. Finally, my lifelong dream is about to come true. When we get back, we'll make a little detour to mark the occasion. I assume you're familiar with tactics, right? It's your favorite pub, sir. Even a knight needs to unwind now and again. Wouldn't you agree? Thank you, Captain. I must say, Windor is such a beautiful country. But unfortunately, the wars never end. Where did that come from? When I was young and naive, I came here with a group of very close friends. One of them stood right here and told me all about how he wanted to create a world without conflict. Huh. Back then, I was just a kid with my head in the clouds. At that moment, I believed I actually had the power to make his dream come true. That's what everyone thinks when they're young. But something happened soon afterward. Something that made me realize what a pathetic child I actually was. I see. And I assume that's when you decided to enlist in the Knight Academy. Yes, sir.
Stay sharp, even against Chuck. Strike! There! No one can stand before my blade! This won't take long! Ha! Now! There! Treat you! Flames are- It will take more than that to stand in our way! Stay sharp, even Press against Trump. Now! Strike! We won't fail! This won't take long! Strike! Next! Hmm? Did we get carried away? Stay sharp, even against the <laughs> Strike! There! That was hardly worth dirtying my blade. This won't take long. Flame of passion true. Strike! Next! Not yet! Hmm? Did we get carried away? I have to admit, they sell the best ice pops at this place. I can't stop thinking about the way my hand shimmered back in the Orland Woods. What happened there? I should have asked the captain when I had the chance. Hey, your ice pop's melting. Uh, what? Crap, what waste! That's a tough break. Oh look, I got a wind stick! Hey shopkeeper, I'll take another! Oh. Hmm? Stand down, Asbel. I'm not giving it to you. Understood. A toast, in honor of Asbel Lunt's promotion and the start of a long and glorious career. May the wind guide our blades. May the wind guide our blades. Thank you, Captain. I hope to continue training under you even after I become a knight. Relax, Asbel. This is a celebration. Let tomorrow take care of itself. Being a knight is all I ever wanted. I need it, Captain. I need to be strong. Nothing good can come from haste, Asbel. When I left home, I swore to become strong. I swore I would never again fail to protect someone. So when I'm not training or fighting, I feel like I'm wasting time. Seeking the strength to help others, eh? It's a noble goal. And if becoming a knight helps you achieve it, then so much the better. But there are some things even a knight cannot protect. 
You would do well to remember that. Understood, sir. All right, enough wool gathering. This is your celebration, so eat up. Yes, sir. Whew! Thanks for the meal, Captain. But I can't eat another bite. Good. Now maybe next time we'll celebrate your entry into adulthood with my favorite cocktail. Come. We should return to the Night Academy. believe it. This is crazy. I haven't seen you in seven years. What are you doing here? When did you arrive? A little while ago. You should have told me. I could have picked you up. Didn't you get the letter? Letter? Your mother sent you a letter begging you to come home. Oh. Well, I was on a mission. I haven't been here for a while. Wait a minute. Did something happen? Lord Aston passed away. <gasps> what? You mean to tell me that my father is gone? What are you talking about? <laughs> what happened? Calm down, Asbel. You're Sharia, right? Let's talk about this inside. Please, both of you follow me. Asbel, pull yourself together, all right? My father... Dead? The border dispute between Lant and Fendel has turned desperate. Your father is having difficulty coping with the situation. Please come home before the fighting takes an even more serious turn. I had no idea things were so bad. We waited to hear from you, but then Lord Aston perished in battle. With Lady Carey bedridden from exhaustion and grief, it fell to me to track you down. Captain Malik, I've also been entrusted with a message for the Knights. Will you hear it? Lot humbly requests the assistance of His Majesty's Royal Knights in her struggle against tyranny. The domains of Windor hold great autonomy compared to other nations. They're independent states, in all but name. This makes it difficult for the Knights to intervene in disputes. I see the right of your cause, but things may be difficult. My grandfather said much the same thing. It seems we can only pray the dispute does not escalate into all-out war. I will speak with the other Knights, but I make no guarantees. This is a matter most grave, and perhaps they'll feel differently upon hearing the full story. We are in your debt, Captain. Asbel? Sir? I trust you to be the Knight's eyes and ears in this matter. 
Return to your home and assess the situation. We need to understand what's really happening. You'll also want to pay respects to your father and look in on Lady Carey. She needs you now more than ever. Go to her and give her what comfort you can. Understood. I must return to Lant as well. Then you and Asbel should travel together. Send word if you need any assistance, and I'll let you know if I learn anything on my side as well.
Once we reach land, I'll look into hiring a turtle's transport. You must be exhausted after so much travel. Thank you, but I'm fine, really. But what about your illness? It's gone. It disappeared seven years ago, just after... after everything happened. Now I'm stronger than almost everyone I know. Seven years. Maybe Sophie is watching over us somehow. I'm glad you're better, Sharia. Thanks. Me too. Take long! Ha! Now! Not yet! No one can stand before my blade! This won't take long! Ha! Now! Ha! Strike! There! No one can stand before my blade! This won't take long! Ha! Strike! Not yet! That was hardly worth dirtying my blade! Get back! What, that light from my hand? I don't know. It just started happening recently. You're hurt. Oh, this? It's nothing. I'm fine. You won't be fine if it gets infected. Give it here. What the... Sharia? You can do it too? Yeah, it just started happening recently. The doctor thinks that incident seven years ago might have unlocked some kind of unknown power. An unknown power? There, all better. 
Uh, thanks. <laughs> kind of funny to see little Sherry all grown up and healing people's wounds. Remember that time I hurt my hand and you tried to bandage it up with a big old sock? <laughs> Good times. It's been a long time, Asbel. People change. Also, I can fight for myself now. You don't have to save me from monsters anymore. Let's go. Take long. That should buy us some time at least, right? Okay, let's do this. That should buy us some time at least, right? Sharia, come quickly. Frederick has been captured by the Fendalian army. Grandpa, no! Those curs have launched a full-scale invasion of Lant. Please forgive me. I was with Frederick at the time, but was unable to protect him. When we are finished, I am prepared to accept full punishment for this failure. But first, we must attempt to rescue Frederick. Right. Where did you last see him? Near the main skirmish between the Border Fortress and Launt Hill. All right, I'll leave at once. I'm coming too. You too, Lord Asbel? We can't let those Fendolian brutes take Frederick. Come on, Sharia!
Okay, let's do Press. it. Strike. Ready? Strike. Great job. Name in judgment. Strike. Great job. Now, we won't fail. Won't take long. Bear this name in judgment. Ready? There! Yes! Bear this name in judgment. Strike! We won't fail! This road hasn't changed at all in the past seven years. That's not true. There are lots of differences if you just take a moment to look. Maybe time just hasn't moved on for you. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am just living in the past. How so? I have so many regrets about who I was seven years ago. I've devoted my life trying to reclaim what was lost, and... Stop it. Just... stop. She's dead and there's no going back. For my blade! Lord Asbel, look. We're coming, Frederick. We will survive. That should buy us some time at least, right? Frederick, are you all right? Lord Asbel, I... I never dreamed to meet you here. I don't deserve your presence after what has happened. I know about my father, Frederick. You don't need to apologize. Lord Asbel... Look! More Fendelian weapons! When did Fendel get their hands on those? I don't know, but they're laying waste to our forces. Fendel's not messing around. The town's going to be in serious trouble if they get through. We have to stop them here. We've attempted numerous frontal assaults, but we simply lack the men to combat them. Then we'll have to get clever with the terrain. Maybe we could drop them off a cliff. A cliff? The meadow on Mont Hill isn't far from here. I'll distract the enemy. You go ahead and lead our people to safety. What are you going to do? You'll see. Hear me, people of Fendel! I am Asbel Lant, 
son of Lord Aston and knight of the Windor Kingdom. If there are any warriors among you, let them step forward and face my blade. That got their attention. Now I just have to lead them to the meadow. Sharia, go with the others. I can handle this myself. I'll be fine. They're coming! Sharia, go! Run for the meadow! be Sophie. It's impossible. Sophie's gone. She's been dead for seven years. Sophie? 
But... is it... has she lost her memory too? Follow me. There's something I want to show you. Seven years ago, me, Sophie, and Richard all came to this very spot and swore a pact of friendship. Look here at this tree trunk. Well, do you remember anything? I don't know. But just looking at this tree makes me feel somehow strange. It's like looking at something that's very precious to me. What does it mean? You can't be the real Sophie. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Even still, I can hardly imagine you as anyone else. I mean, you look just like her. Wow. So what happens now? Do you want to come back to town with us? That would be best. It's really dangerous here. Okay, then let's hurry back. I'm starting to get worried about the others. Yes, let's go. Nefarious seed? Maybe Sophie is watching over us after all.
Did everyone make it to safety? Yes. We're all alive thanks to you. However, many people were wounded. D daddy <laughs> My daddy is hurt. Don't worry. I'll help your daddy get better, okay? Where are the injured? In the town square. I'm going to go see if I can help. Sharia has been a comfort to us all. She can heal people with a touch. It's almost like she's Launt's guardian angel. What happened to Fendel's army? They pulled back, but they're still within Mont's borders. They've constructed an encampment just in front of the border fortress. Unless we destroy that encampment, we'll never be able to drive them out. Do we have any intelligence on it? Yes, I submitted a full report to Lord... to your father. Good. I'll check it out when I return home. One more thing. Frederick and Lady Carey are waiting for you at the manor. I understand. I'll go to them right away. Seven years. This is quite the homecoming. Aspel? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's go home. you're back after what happened to your father I've been so very worried I'm sorry I wasn't here and I'm glad you're all right Frederick I owe you a debt I can never repay Lord Aspel did I miss the funeral yes I'm sorry we simply couldn't wait for your return your father fought bravely and died defending his home I pray that is of some comfort to you. I understand. Thank you for being there during his final hour. You are too kind. Asbel, please. Please don't leave us again. You must stay and rule in your father's place. We have nowhere else to turn. That... That's why you've come back, right? I came back to see if you needed anything, and assess Lon's current condition. Aspel, you can't mean to return to Barona. Not after all that's happened. I know what you're trying to say, but I... I need some time. I need time to think. We left your room just as it was. Please feel free to use it as you like. Thank you, Frederick. Sophie, I'm going to check out my old room. Wanna come? Asbel. I'm sorry, Mom. Dad, 
We never had a chance to understand each other. If I'd only known how bad things were here. If only I'd accepted my role as your heir. Then none of this would have happened. What am I meant to do? I've spent seven years training for knighthood, and now I'm nearly there. I wanted to be strong so I could protect people, but I couldn't protect anyone, could I? Not even my own father. And then he died protecting his own people. Protect. Protect everyone. You know, it's because of you that I wanted to be strong in the first place. Me? I mean, sorry. I guess I think of you as Sophie, you know? This is so weird. It's like I've gone back in time. I think I know my answer. I think I've always known it. From the very beginning. Thanks. I think you helped me figure some things out. since I've been in here. Was it always this small? I brought you some tea, Lord Asbel. Perfect timing, Frederick. Would you please mail this letter for me? W my lord! This is a letter of withdrawal from the Knight Academy. I will become the next Lord of Lant. It is my duty as Aston Lant's firstborn son. I shall inform Lady Kerry immediately. She will be overjoyed. Sure. Oh, one more thing. I've heard about a report outlining the Fendolian army's encampment. It's waiting in the study, my lord. Shall I escort you there? That would be perfect. It feels weird sitting here. This is where Dad did most of his paperwork. Frederick, do you know if this report is still accurate? It claims we can pass through the seaside cavern beyond Lawn Hill and emerge near the enemy encampment. If that's true, we could use the cavern to stage a surprise attack. Pardon me, Lord Asbel? You look at home here. Does this mean our land finally has a new lord? It does. I know I'm young, but I'll do my best. I hope you'll help me, Bailey. I am yours to command, my lord. Have you heard from the Royal Knights? Will they ride to our aid? Unfortunately, it doesn't sound good. I fear we fight this battle alone. I see. As such... I'm considering how to deal with Fendel. What are you planning? We should strike. It's time we went on the offensive. We can use the Seaside Cavern to stage a night attack on their main camp. Interesting. Yes, the cavern should allow us to approach the enemy undetected. We'll split into small units and regroup near the exit. Then, when night falls, I will lead the attack. Ready the men. I want to be there tonight. So soon? The enemy is still recovering from today's battle. The timing is perfect. 
For the sake of Lant, we must not fail. We shall begin preparations at once. I want to be a part of this fight, Asbel. I want to help drive Fendel from my home. Sharia, I... I want to go too. Thank you. Thank you both. We'll leave as soon as preparations are complete. I want to make sure we reach the cavern before nightfall. I'll be ready. Okay, let's do this! Good! Great job! I think that's all of them! Okay, let's do this! Good! You won't live to regret this! Great job! I think that's all of them! Sophie, don't wander too far. All right. Why do you call her that? Uh, I don't know. She needs a name, right? Even though we have no idea who she really is? Look, I'm just... You need to come back to reality. Everything has changed since... since then. You're right. It has changed. Sophie's dead. My father's dead. Hubert got adopted by some guy in Strata. Oh, and my oldest friend treats me like a total stranger and has apparently given up on smiling. <gasps> Look, I know this is all my fault, okay? That's why I decided to stay. What do you call this flower? It's a Sophia. That's where we got the name Sophie. Sophie. Asbel calls me Sophie. Sorry, I should have asked you first. 
No, it's fine. Please call me Sophie. I like this flower. It feels warm and familiar. It makes me happy to be named after it. If you like it, why don't you grow another one? Here, take this. It's a Sofaria seed. This will turn into a Sofaria flower? When we get back to the manor, you can plant it in the flower bed. All right. So this is the Seaside Cavern. I can't believe I've never been here before. No one has seen us yet. Good. Let's keep it that way. Now come on. We're almost to the other side. I didn't think we'd actually have to swim through this place. I'm all wet. Are you cold? If it's too much, take Sophie and head back to Lant. Don't worry about me. I'm the one who asked to come, remember? Or were you just thinking that maybe I'm in the way? I don't know. Do you even really want me here? If not, you should just say so. No, I didn't say that. I'm actually really happy you're here. I just don't want to push you too hard. I couldn't stand it if something happened to either of you. Sharia, you were wet too. I'm gonna wring out my clothes. So turn around. Oh, right. You know, there may be other points in this cave where we have to swim underwater to keep moving forward. Okay. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. We'll move slowly and carefully. <laughs> you okay, Sophie? And Sherry, you should be careful not to catch a cold as well. Hey, don't stare at me like that when I'm all drenched. Uh... Sorry. This won't take long. Strike! There! Die! Ready? No one can stand before my blade! Won't take long. Ready? Ha, right. yeah, there. Ready? We won't fail. This 
won't take long. Strike! Not yet! Preach! Strike! That should buy us some time at least, right? Sophie, wait! Don't touch that! Hmm? Why not? That's a carnivorous sea plant that paralyzes its prey. It may not like people. It's dangerous. Did it bite you? Hmm, just a little. Let's see. It's better. <sighs> Good. I'm glad you were here, Sharia. Sophie, you should thank Sharia, too. Thank you, Sharia. Of course. 